Hello, pickleballers. It's your boy D Dog back for another review. Um, today we are doing the other of the two half Kevlar, half carbon fiber pickleball apes, pickleball paddles, the Pro Line Energy. Um, a couple of things to call out with this paddle. The first being that it is a hybrid shape with an arrow curve at the top. So much similar to something like the uh, Eula Hyperion, the old Hyperion, and the uh, the new C2 Hyperion, um, similar to the Valere um, Mach 1 paddles, similar to the 6-0 Double Black Diamond. Um, the shape would fall into those categories. Um, it is a 5.5 inch handle. I was a very big fan of that. Um, and yeah, overall, my impressions on the paddle were pretty middle of the middle of the park, middle of the ballpark for me personally. Um, it didn't blow me away by any means. Um, I thought the power was pretty middle ground for today's market. If anything, a touch soft. Um, I enjoyed the the nice little bite and pop off the the Kevlar portions of the face, um, and overall, you know, it's light, it's easy, it's maneuverable, so that's great. But I think what this paddle might be lacking is power, and so I just personally, I didn't really feel it was all that powerful of a paddle. I tried adding multiple lead figure configurations which helped it a little but even still i felt like it was at lacking in the paddle a ton um and overall for power it just wasn't really there for me i think it could be a nice niche control paddle um you know to all around court paddle um i think that if you're someone that's really interested in this new wave of Kevlar paddles and you're looking for somewhere to start, this could be a great point to start or you're someone that really likes uh, hybrid shape paddles. Um, as you guys know from a lot of my other content and my reviews, I historically do not like hybrid shape paddles. I'm just not a fan of the shape. Um, with that being said, there are some hybrid shape paddles that I've really liked with exception to the shape. And so... I, I do like this paddle. I just, it's not for what I'm looking for right now, personally. Um, but I did enjoy playing with it. And as I was saying, I, I think it would be a really good entry to Kevlar paddles paddle for somebody. So if somebody's, you know, maybe they're not looking to spend the money on a 6-0 uh, Ruby paddle, or they're not waiting for them to go back in stock, they keep selling out all the time but you know they want to they want something that's middle of the road i think this is a great paddle for that i think last i checked it was retailing for 140 without a discount code um also as always guys always try ddog underscore pickleball for discount codes at checkout um, to try and save usually between 10 to 20 percent or ten dollars um, on most paddle brand companies um, I believe we have that set up with pickleball apes but if not I will check with them again um, we've been in the process of setting up our affiliates and discount codes with all of the major and smaller business brands and overall we have just try to do that to help push the brand names, to push the overall awareness, and to help grow the sport of pickleball. So anyways, back to the paddle. Overall, a solid paddle. Personally, I will not be switching to it anytime soon. I am keeping it in my bag for now to toy around with it and compare it to other paddles. Um, again, I really think this is a paddle for someone that is just beginning to get into kind of the Kevlar space of the market, whether that's an advanced player, a beginner, or an intermediate. I, I think this paddle could suit all levels, um, very similar to the Vatic Prism series. So 
Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you.